Good afternoon. I'm Avnash Murthy from Albany Medical Center, and it's a privilege and honor to have Dr. Brian Weinstein from the Salt Lake um, City, from the world of interventional cardiology. He needs no further introduction. Um, thank you, Dr. Weinstein, for uh, having uh, agreed to talk to us from the, for the FIT blog. I was wondering, what were your thoughts about the Watchman device trial being pulled off from the late-breaking clinical trial sessions on Saturday? It was disappointing, wasn't it? Well, it was. We were eagerly looking forward for that. Yeah, I think uh, most of us came to um, came to San Francisco eagerly anticipating the results of the Watchman trial, the Prevail trial, and it was uh, very disappointing to not see it presented live. Um, I think it was an innocent mistake from Boston Scientific. They, I don't think they had any malintent on this. Uh, it lets us all give our own opinions about the data, and um, perhaps I could just tell you kind of what my thoughts on the interpretation were. That would be very nice, uh, Dr. Wilson. Great. The um, safety data was obviously excellent, yeah. and there was a marked reduction in adverse events from the PROTECT AF trial. The efficacy data is what has been a little bit in, in question because they failed to meet their primary efficacy endpoint. And I think that's where everyone is a little bit confused by failing to meet that efficacy endpoint. That means that they did not cross the confidence interval of non-inferiority. In fact, they had clinical and numerical equivalence between device and Coumadin, and that is despite the early hazard of the device, as well as the extraordinarily um, unprecedented low event rate in the Coumadin arm of 0.7% per year. Yes. And despite all of that, they had uh, numerical equivalence, and they just, uh, it's a little bit early for them to have crossed the confidence interval to have proven non inferiority, but I'm sure that's coming. So, overall, this was a home run trial for, 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 for the, the Watchman, Watchman device, device. And, and really the message should be that, um, that the device is efficacious and uh, increasingly safe, and it was, it was a really good data set, and it's unfortunate that we didn't all get to see that together. Well, it was very good f to hear from you about um, the results from this. What do you think the <laughs> Prevail trial now that we know that it was uh, superior, do you see it being used in most of the hospitals or is it going to still be initially tried in the tertiary care centers and then trickle down later? Um, that's, that's up to Boston Scientific. I don't know the details of what their rollout plan is. I suspect that they'll be conservative as they roll it out after FDA approval. I, the first question is, will we have FDA approval soon? I think we will. Yeah. I'm confident we will. Um, probably later this year, and I, I anticipate a somewhat slow rollout um, with an aggressive training program. And, and um, but it is a procedure that should not be limited to unique operators. That I think uh, people, either electrophysiologists or interventional cardiologists who have an interest in this procedure, yeah. could take a, can do safely and competently. Yeah.